In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to common managerial accounting topics or common managerial accounting scenarios. We'll go through the questions and then practice test taking skills with them. First question, a cost that requires a future outlay of cash and is relevant for current and future decision making A, future cost, B, sunk cost, C, opportunity cost, D, future cash flow or E out-of-pocket cost. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. A cost that requires a future outlay of cash and is relevant for current and future decision making is A, a future cost. Now, a future cost sounds you know, like it could be a thing, but it doesn't quite ring a bell. I don't think we have a cost that we typically call future cost. It's not one of the terms that kind of ring a bell. Sunk cost, B, is a term that typically rings a bell. That should be something that we want to be aware of in this kind of managerial accounting decision-making process. C says opportunity cost. Again, another cost that we kind of want to keep aware of. Uh, and then D says future cash flow. I get future cash flow sounds pretty similar to future cost. Uh, so, and we can't have both of them really. So, But in essence, I don't think it's going to be just simply a cash flow, although... It might be a, a cash flow as well. So, but anyways, we're going to go to E. I'm going to cross that out. E, out of pocket cost. So, out of pocket cost is another kind of term that we use in in this area. So, out of pocket cost is another term that we want to be familiar with. So, I'll keep B, C, and E. Let's go through it again. A cost that requires a future outlay of cash and is relevant for current and future decision making is either B, sunk cost, C, opportunity cost, E, out of pocket cost. Now, if you think about those three kind of costs, the sunk cost is one that's happened in the past that we can't do anything about. And this is a future outlay. So it can't be sunk cost. Opportunity cost is the cost of the decision we gave up, that we didn't take, the road not chosen, the road we're not going to pick, the cost of that one. And we're going to say that doesn't sound like this one. So it's got to be an out-of-pocket cost. So out-of-pocket cost is the one E, final answer. A cost that requires future outlay of cash and is relevant for current and future decision making out of pocket cost E. Next question. A cost that cannot be avoided or changed because it arises from a past decision and is irrelevant to future decisions is called A or an A. A stuck cost B. Out of pocket cost C. Opportunity cost D. Sunk cost or E unavoidable costs. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. A cost that cannot be avoided or changed because it arises from a past decision is and is irrelevant to future decisions is called a or an a stuck cost. Now that might sound familiar because it looks really close to a sunk cost which is, is a term that we are familiar with but I haven't heard stuck cost. We're kind of stuck with it. It makes sense. We're stuck with this cost, but I don't think that's a thing. I don't think that's a term. So B, we're going to say out of pocket cost. That sounds familiar. That sounds like a term we've worked with. So I'll keep that. C says opportunity cost, another term that we want to be familiar with. D says sunk cost, another term that we should be familiar with. And E says uh, unavoidable cost. Now, again, that, it, that's, seems relevant like a good name for it kind of like a stuck cost is a you know might be a, but unavoidable cost isn't a term that we should ring a bell as much it's not unavoidable cost isn't the term we usually use so i'm going to keep the three main terms we we see here out of pocket cost opportunity cost sunk cost let's go through it again a cost that cannot be avoided or changed because it arises from a past decision and is irrelevant to future decisions is called a or an b out of pocket cost C, opportunity cost, or D, sunk cost. Now, of these three, uh, the out-of-pocket cost represents a future cash flow. And, and this one is basically saying it's not going to affect future decisions. So, And it's saying that it happened in the past. So it's not going to be an out-of-pocket cost. Opportunity cost is the cost of the, of the decision not chosen. And it doesn't necessarily, I mean, we want to quantify it financially, but it doesn't have to be quantifiable in simply financial terms with you know whatever benefits of the decision we didn't choose this one is a past cost right so and it's and, and it's one that we can't change so of those two 
the sunk cost seems the most appropriate. The sunk cost is, is something we, it's going to come up all the time in these manager accounting decisions. And it's a common kind of fallacy or problem that we make. We have to be very familiar. That's why we go through a formal process. Really, these are two of the main reasons we go through a formal process with. The sunk cost can throw us off. And that's going to be a cost in the past that seems like it should be relevant at this point in time. But it's not. So it's not relevant at this point in time. It's a past cost. It's sunk. Not relevant at this point in time. Final answer D. Final answer a cost that cannot be avoided or changed because it arises from a past decision and is irrelevant to future decision is called A or an D sunk cost.